Now, it makes me the happiest man alive to be able to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, on behalf of my wife and I, Welcome to our wedding. Marriage is a gift of God in creation, through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and in trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body, and mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the Church. So, good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to you all here at the Chateau. I must say you guys do scrub up well. <laughs> Some of you. Thank you all for making the trip over here for the celebration of the marriage of Chris and Cheryl. We know it's a big sacrifice to travel all this way, so a big thank you from all of us here. A friend once told me, that he never thought he would find a girl and get married, as he never found one that could make him laugh out loud. This could not be further from the truth with Cheryl. He might not always be laughing with her, but whether it's with her or at her, whether it's muddling up her words when telling stories in front of groups of people, and then at the punchline she uses the word inflammation instead of inflation. <laughs> she definitely gets people laughing. Chris, Christopher, Ports, Green, Lips, Peter Crouch, Rodney Trotter. <laughs> now, I thought we'd start on a positive for Chris, and I thought I'd discuss his biggest achievement first. It's not what you're all thinking, his goal ratio of one in 10, when he actually manages to get on the pitch, and his hips, skinny legs, small toes, small fingers, whatever, can't get him on the pitch. His biggest achievement is comfortably Cheryl. Marriage is a way of life made holy by God, who is judge of all and knows the secret of every heart. Chris, will you take Cheryl to be your wife? Will you love her? Will you comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. A long time ago, I told Charlotte I'd do my speech in Scottish. I think Charlotte did an English version of it today in church, but I promised my wife, so here I go. As throughout thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I, and I will love thee still, my dear, till the seas gang dry. Till all the seas gang die, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun, and I will love thee still, my dear, while the sons of life shall run. Christopher and Cheryl have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife.
Thanks again, Paige, for making me the happiest man alive. I hope you all have an amazing night, and thanks once again for being here. Please all be upstanding and join me in the most important toast to the most beautiful bride a guy could ask for, to my wife, to Cheryl.